Are you thinking about this? Monkey bars for your kids in the garden? I am sharing how to put these up step by step from start to finish. And it's all speeded up, but you'll still manage to see my pain and pretty much all of the mistakes that I make along the way. This is the big Christmas present for our daughter, you know, the big massive one. And she had no idea this is what was coming. So I had to lie to her like this. So can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. I've got some fencing to build for mummy. Yeah. For as a Christmas present so mm -hmm. she can put plants up here. Oh, so could you make sure she doesn't come up to the end of the garden? Okay. All right, thanks. It's fencing. Yeah, gotcha. I, I love, by the way, that I have absolutely no problem lying to her. But anyway, that's one jeopardy that she's going to work it out and completely spoil the big surprise and ruin Christmas. The second massive problem is that I'm doing this on Christmas Eve and I've only got five hours of daylight to put these monkey bars together. Am I going to do it on time? Hello, I'm Neil. This is the Dad Delivers vlog where I try something new every day and today I'm trying to put these monkey bars together and not ruin Christmas. Okay, this is crucial. These grooves have to face down because this bar, this is going to be the, the top of the monkey bars. It is really difficult trying to get both bars onto the rungs at the same time. I just had spent ages moving left and right, trying to feed them into the holes. You push them in one end, come out the other. Ugh. Can you see what I'm doing wrong? I can't figure this out at all. <laughs> Whoa. The rungs are done. Yes. Now the pressure's on slightly. Hang on, that shouldn't be turning. Oh my God. Of course, I've messed up a couple of these. I think you're supposed to put the screws kind of nearer the edge <laughs> so they don't turn around like this. <laughs> oh no. So I'll probably do these ones again just to not have them broken. Now we have to do the same for the legs, either side of this top bar that goes along the top. There, it, it will look like this. So I'm gonna build those side bars now. And I've gotta make sure that the, the rungs go up, are the right way up, you know, that the, the flat bits on the rungs are the right bit up. But here you can see me <laughs> screwing. I'm screwing it a bit more carefully now. I'm putting the screws in closer to the edge of the bar that the rungs go into. Otherwise, if you put them in dead center, they just miss the rung completely and they just spin around. <laughs> it's at this point that I need to make a really important phone call. Hi. Hiya. So, is there any chance for a cup of coffee? I'll do it now. Oh, thanks. How's it going? It's, it's, it's going. Bye. Okay, do you want a biscuit as well or not? So here I am fitting the, the other side bar onto the rungs and hopefully this time now the rungs won't fall out when I am <laughs> trying to squeeze the bars in, squeeze the rungs into this sidebar. Oh man. I don't know if this is coming across on screen but it is raining quite heavily now. Got my coffee in the uh, Ellen mug. I think Ellen would approve of how it's coming together or, or she'd just yell at me for doing it wrong. We're now at a really crucial stage that could go horribly wrong because I need to now put the bars up together. As you can see here, you bolt the top row of rungs to the side rungs so that they form ladders either side. And there, there I am bolting, bolting it together. The instructions are very specific about the order of bolt and nuts and washers and a cap on the end there. So I'm just going to bolt this together. But this is the point where my daughter is going to, she's going to see what it is. I don't think she's going to buy that this is fencing at all. They're watching Coco uh, in there at the moment. What I've done is I've, I've got them to close the curtains. So my daughter thinks we're hiding this from mummy.
Oh, and here's another gift from Dunster House. The screws don't match the dimensions in the instructions, so it's taken me five minutes to work out these are the screws that I need. It's difficult to tell from the picture in the instructions, but I think you need to take this bar, and this is what sets it at 45 degrees. So if it aligns with the top there, and you screw it into the top there, and then into the side of the ladder there, and that's what gives you your exact 45 degrees for the ladders. So I'm now sheltering from the rain because these instructions, Dunster House, they are absolutely impenetrable. And you just can't tell from the drawings what side and where these bits of wood are supposed to go. Plus, my daughter is now playing on the trampoline over there. I think she sort of still believes me that it's a pergola. Well, I got it on, but I'm not sure that that works very well because, and in the instructions it says 1010 goes behind, but it doesn't because it, it doesn't fit and it hangs out the other end. So that, that can't be right. I'm getting really wet and fed up with this now. <laughs> This is so difficult. I don't, I don't know where this goes. The instructions are not very good. So I ran out of time. I think, I'm, I think I've got this. So this is a two-person job. They say put 70 millimeter screws into this bar. Look, look what happens when you do that. It comes straight through the other end. Dunster house, another Dunster house quality instruction there. Straight through that. It's too long. There you go. Happy playtime, kids. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So somehow I managed to not ruin Christmas and six months on you can see they're still standing. The kids love them. Here's my review though. They take a day and a half to put up for me. Maybe it's just me, but I also found the instructions that come with them absolutely abysmal. They arrive as just a big pile of wood and they're not cheap. But if you want these exact ones, there's a link down below in the description. Good luck with your monkey bars. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click in his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, right?